Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. Uh, we ended pretty abruptly last time. Um, yeah. The chef like, took, took Maya, Maya basically. Forever. And, She's uh, studying to uh, become a pastry chef now. <laughs> we'll be seeing her on the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> oh boy. Can you imagine what Maya would make? She'd be like that chick who made the turtle cake. The turtle galaxy oh, cake. Oh, yeah, the turtle galaxy. <laughs> yeah, that would be like what Kim Maya Joy. would make. Yeah, Kim Joy. She Kim Joy's cool. a lot like Maya, I feel like. So, Similar eh, expressions. I guess. January 6th, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Looks like they have Maggie in questioning. I guess I've asked her pretty much everything. I'll come back if there's anything else I need to ask her later. Okay, well... So now we go to Criminal Affairs, and I'm pretty sure Gumsh... Yeah, okay, I thought we did this earlier. Okay. January 6th, Police Station, Criminal Affairs Department. Well, pal, have you found the evidence yet? The one that's gonna find her innocent. Um... No, not yet. We've only just started our investigation. Well, whatever you need to know, I'll give you the dirt on it. I'm putting all of my other cases off for now, pal. Gumshoe's really fired up about this. Oh yeah, one more thing. The retrial's been approved. Court's sitting at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And Godot's gonna be the prosecutor. Oh. Him. Now, Coffee. listen up, pal. If Maggie's found guilty again... Y yes Um, I'll... I'll make sure you get locked up for good for it. Got it? Um, okay. Cool. Hi. So the guilty party was Maggie Bird, huh? No. Yeah. Back when she was on the police force, you were her mentor when she was a rookie, right? Yeah, I kept a close eye on her. I mean, not too close, you know. Oh yeah, didn't he have like the hots for her or something weird like that? Hey, what's with the funny looks, pal? I was just her- it wasn't anything like- Look, sure, I was her boss when she was doing her training, but that was it. Nothing happened. Gumshoe sure is sweating up a storm over nothing. Ah, so that's it. Our big old Gumshoe is a little <laughs> old crush on Maggie. I, I don't like her or anything. <laughs> that's what I, I remember. I was... Ah! Note to self, gossip with Maya about this later. <laughs> <laughs> Look, pal, don't tell anyone, okay? You gotta keep it a secret, got it? Sh sure. And would you mind not guessing what I'm thinking all the time? Hey, tell your face, pal, not me. You'd have to be blind not to see what's on your mind. Good job. Uh, he's a terrible defense attorney then. It's like, well, what's on your mind? And like, what's on your mind? It's like, what's on your mind, Phoenix? Right? It's like, oh no, I can't prove this claim. Like, I just was like, oh, I'm like, I can't prove it. <laughs> so, I was wondering, could you fill me in on the victim? Glenn Elg. He was a computer what? programmer. Uh, His name's a palindrome. Okay, second. Is that supposed to be? I, there's nothing I can do. About okay, that. I was, is it fine though? Like, yeah, it's okay. fine, but it's not getting captured. I see. A programmer. He was just a regular Joe working for a small-time computer firm. What is with his hair? It's like braided. You can't even see it. That's those hair. are shadows. That's not shadows. Yes, That's it hair. is. It looks like his hair. It's not his hair. Uh, then why is his jacket end at those shadows? It looks like hair. I think it's just weird shading. Okay, that's bad shading then. Cause it's it's on his hat too. Barely. It's still there. It looks like hair. Anyway. Maggie never had any contact with the guy before that day. And all she did was take him his coffee on the day of the murder, pal. Yeah, Maggie also claimed to have never seen the guy before. Did the victim go to the restaurant often? Not according to the chef. Said it was the first time he'd seen the guy. A programmer and a first-time customer. What possible reason could Maggie have had to kill a guy like that? Exactly. That's what I thought. But a motive was still somehow established in her trial. You can ask. You're kidding! What was her supposed motive? Uh, sorry, pal. I'm real busy. I haven't got enough time to sift through these papers. Uh, okay. Look into it yourself, okay? Okay. What could his this motive have been? Eh, we'll figure it out. This isn't really a proper investigation. I'm kind of working on it by myself. Uh, oh, that's right. The judge already ruled on the case, and all the evidence is in already. The only problem is with Maggie's testimony. Yeah, it doesn't sound very good for us, huh? Look, pal, I've got a mountain of papers on this case to look over before tomorrow. So I'm just gonna say this. Maggie Bird's no liar. She's... she's... okay, so she's a bit out there, and a bit off base sometimes. But she was a good cop. That's not exactly complimentary, you know? <laughs> 
So what do you think really happened? And just how contradictory is her testimony? The biggest problem with Maggie's testimony is the number of people at the table. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. Is this something really weird? Like the mirrors make the room seem bigger as well? <laughs> like where it like looks like there's more people, but there isn't. <laughs> that doesn't work in this situation. I know, though. but I'm like, I don't know. Maggie still insists there was another guy sitting with the victim. Right, but get this. Everyone else in the place says the guy was alone, even the chef. And then there's that CD. CD? Oh yeah, she did mention something about a CD. And there was a sample CD on the table, sir. But our guys turned that place upside down. There was no CD. What? Not on the table, not anywhere in the whole restaurant, pal. But didn't Maggie say the victim was wearing an eye earpiece too? Yeah, but that was for the portable radio in the front pocket of his hoodie. A radio? He didn't have a CD player? You got it. Your phony never explained that contradiction at all. Come to think of it, the owner of Trabian didn't mention that CD either. I don't know why, but I get the feeling Mr. Armstrong's got something to hide. Oh, absolutely. But it's weird that literally everyone is hiding that. Yeah. Oh, also, we don't have our Magatama anymore. Yeah. Is that thing real, pal? Why does everyone keep asking me that? I wonder what this phony of yours is like. He had Maggie found guilty of murder. Doesn't that tell you? Gotta track this creep down. I wasn't at the trial myself. But I asked this one detective I know how I know how your defense was. And what did he say? He started off by saying, I'm at a complete loss for words. But he must have found some quick because then he went on about how bad you were for about an hour. But he said you sucked so much, it seemed like you were trying to get Maggie found guilty. Well, that was probably... <laughs> it looked like I was trying to get Maggie found guilty? I mean, yeah, yeah. if there's a fake you, then yeah. <laughs> What's that? A sports paper? Yeah, I found it in the magazine rack at Trabian. It's dated the same day as the murder. You may be onto something here. And take a look at this. See this writing here? MC Bomber. Hey! What is it? I've heard that name somewhere before. Yeah, MC Bomber. Wow. He actually seems to be thinking for once. Wow. Ah, it's no good. I can't remember. And he goes back to being the gumshoe we all know and love. Hey, pal. I'm gonna borrow this paper up for a bit, okay? Yeah, I, I borrow wanna that get paper up. <laughs> borrow it up. <laughs> it's in character for this <laughs> I wanna get a handwriting analysis done on this scribble. Handwriting, huh? It'd be good to know more about that in any case. Thanks, pal. I bet this will turn out to be an interesting clue. Sports paper given to Detective Gumshoe. Cool. Okay. And what do you make of this? Sorry, pal. All I can think about is Maggie at the moment. <laughs> no, no! I didn't mean it like that! I meant... You don't have to explain, really. <laughs> hey, so how come she's not here with you today? She's working down at the restaurant right now. Working, huh? Yeah, it's tough being broke, I would know. Um, okay? Next time I see her, I'll show her how to make the world's best instant noodles. We low earners have to stick together! It's the only way! Um, why is he shaking my hand with such enthusiasm? <laughs> eh. See, here's the thing, like, the whole cheap discount noodles totally works for America, because we have the cheap discount ramen yeah. as well. We which really is do. unhealthy, but I it, like... I did not realize how 30, cheap it was. Like, 30 cents a pack. 25 cents. 25 cents a pack. It's 25 cents a pack. I'm like, well, now I know why college students eat these, because... <laughs> it's not because so they're good. <laughs> yeah, but they're cheap, and she they cross slightly fill you up. She cross-examined me once, you know. What? Mia did? Yeah, that was us. The big guns locking horns. Witnesses versus lawyer. It was a, a battle of cunning tactics and tricks. Uh, but the witness isn't supposed to play any tricks. I can't believe she's gone. Yeah. Look at Godot. <laughs> That's the guy who's gonna be the prosecutor in Maggie's retrial tomorrow. Ugh. Oh, really? Why does he look like a hawk? <laughs> There's like a part of me that reminds- like- This is just like the white hair looks or like he feathers. Looks, or put a different shirt on him, he looks like a Fire Emblem character. Like a like new the Wyvern Fire Rider. Emblem. A new Fire Emblem character. Yeah, yeah I can well, see that. What's the weird- uh, Okay, this is an older character, but Heath. Heath. That, like, oh yeah, the, the punk dragon, rocker. That's what he would like be. Yeah, okay, He would ride enough. that. 
He was working on a bunch of more important cases at the moment. But he cancelled them all just so he could take you on, pal. Great. Why is that guy so determined to see me fail? Cuz... You- he failed- he failed week before, so... <laughs> or not the week before, the month before. It was... this is January. Yeah, the month like, before. Yeah. You sure attract a lot of attention, huh? Too bad it's all the wrong kind. Yeah, you're one to talk! Uh, I'm such a loser. I had high hopes for Maggie. I was gonna make her the best detective there ever was. But then all of a sudden, she was charged with murder and arrested. I never saw it coming! I never imagined they'd find her guilty! I hate myself for not being able to do anything. It's okay, Detective Gumshoe. We still have a chance to make this right. Yeah. You know what? You're not such a bad guy after all, pal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're great. We're awesome. Have you gone to see Maggie? Check of out course this I chick. have! No. <laughs> but I... Uh, I wasn't much good at consoling her. I'm, I'm not very good with words. Oh. Yeah, I mean, you, you heard me say borrow it up earlier. Yeah, I mess it up all the time. Guess I must have looked up and down. Maggie was really supportive of me. It was great to have someone to talk to. Did he go for her or, or for, for himself? himself. <laughs> Look at this weirdo. The chef of Trabian, huh? You know what the chef said to me? Oh la la, your body is full of toxins. <laughs> you just so <laughs> you just sounded like the I'm a little butterfly. Heimlich. Yeah, you sounded like Heimlich from <laughs> Whoops. Book Bugs Life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, I think I sounded like a um, uh, Poe's dad from Country Panther. You have to do the dream. dream. <laughs> 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 That's who we just watched. That. Then he gave me this bottle. What's in it? I don't know. The label says Juniper. I'm under orders to put a few drops of it in my bath every day. Under orders? Yeah, you know, there's something about that lady. I mean, guy. Huh? You can't stop thinking about him? Not like that, pal! <laughs> Give me a break. He's not my type. I mean, I can't stop thinking that he's involved with this case somehow. Well, yeah. Sounds like he knows a little Maybe something like more about Maybe he's like the master of disguise, and he's like, I can be the French, but I can also be like fake Phoenix Wright. <laughs> or like, I can be this other... <laughs> that would be interesting. Sounds like he knows a little something more about our charming like chef. Like the ultimate drag queen. He's 39. I mean, he looks pretty Glenn good. Glenn Elg is me in six years. <laughs> no, 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 you no, look he's better not. than that. <laughs> what do you make of this? Uh, sorry, pal. I literally don't know anything about this guy. <laughs> okay. Maybe Maya will be out. Oh, the, the charming, charming chef. chef. So, what exactly is it with that caught your attention about the chef at Trabion? It's um kind of hard to say. The guy's probably not even connected with the case anyway. Hey, come on, detective. Didn't you say you'd give me the dirt on anything? Well, this sort of stuff is kind of unimportant. Gossipy stuff, you know, pal? We literally were planning on <laughs> gossiping about you or later, so let's... <laughs> and case 2-4. Gossip was a huge part of that. 2-4. Farewell, my turn about... Oh. The kidnap one. The kidnap one. Yeah, that was super important. Look, how about this? You go to Trapion and investigate the place yourself. And if you find out anything suspicious about the guy, you report back to me, okay? Um, don't suppose I get a choice in this, huh? Guess I better find out more about the chef at Trabian and then report back to Gumshoe. Well, probably Maya will be done training with pastries, so let's go. <laughs> she could do it in like an hour. I know oh. it takes people like years. Nah, an hour for Maya. No, I'm saying like she might give up by then. <laughs> That's possible. Jan January 6th, Trabian. The scent of flowers sure is strong. It's almost making me dizzy. Ooh, some chick. Oh, um, hello. Unless if it's, like, a robot. I, um, I can't help but notice your arms are, like, skinnier than most people's arm bones. Are, are, are you anorexic? <laughs> I can't help- uh, she reminds me of a Sailor Moon character. What? Where'd she go? Who was that just now? A customer? Where'd she go? I wanted to talk to her. <laughs> she had a sort of dark aura about her. Oh, that's you. Oh, welcome! B Avenue! Wow, what a cute voice. Oh, she's so cute! <laughs> I love her little outfit. Oh, it's just you, Nick. M Maya. Well, how do I look? Maybe you should quit being a spirit medium. Maybe, but it's kind of boring being a, a waitress. A waitress. Roro. <laughs> Roro. <laughs> I mean, you're my first ever customer. Then who was that woman I just saw? Oh, oh. Wait, was that woman her mom? Who Maya's? Yeah. No. Like it didn't look really anything like. Well, her. it had the well, anyway. <laughs> Since you're here, you might as well have something to eat! I am kind of hungry, actually. <laughs> so, how do you like your new job, Maya? I never-
never knew there was so much for a waitress to do. Taking people's orders, bringing them food, making coffee, working the cash register. Of course, we need a customer before I can do any of that. Yeah, it's a nice looking restaurant. It's a shame more people don't come. Don't forget about the ultra cute waitress. Check out my give me a tip smile! <laughs> it's A plus smile. <laughs> <laughs> hey Nick, why don't you order something? The chef's preparing a tasty lunch set at the moment, or so he says. How much is it? It's the twin tea set, so it's $20, of course. The twin tea set? I believe I'll be taking a pass. It's kind of expensive. What? But you can't! Come on, Nick! It's not every day I get to be a waitress! I want to try carrying plates and working the cash register! How about cleaning the toilets? That should keep you busy. Yeah, right. Maybe later. Um, about the lunch? Oh, a fine choice, sir! No, I, uh, um... Kitchen! A lunch special, please! With all the extras, drink side, the salad, dessert, and gift! I don't need any of that! <laughs> Just a moment, please, sir. Maya's really getting into this. The gift? So, <laughs> how much is this lunch set, then? $20, huh? Keep in mind, this is 2004. $20 was a lot more valuable back then. That's, like, $30 But now. with the drink, side salad, and dessert, it's... $45?! <laughs> hey, wait a sec! Maya! Sorry to keep you waiting, sir. Here you are, a deluxe fortify lunch set. Whoa! A dessert, er, a dish inspired by lobster and abalone fricassee with... Fricassee. <laughs> <laughs> she can pronounce it wrong, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. With balsamic vinaigrette. Bon appetit! Um, thanks? Come on, Nick. Hurry up and try it already. Lobster, huh? Alright, down the hatch it goes. Well? Are you hungry, Maya? I'm starving! Here, it's yours. Really? Ugh! Remember, Maya, my wallet doesn't print money, so you'd better polish off that plate. <laughs> I've just remembered. I gotta clean the toilets! Hey! You can't be in that much of a hurry to clean the toilets. A <laughs> Trabion lunch special added to the court record. <laughs> what, did, did they not cook the, the lobster? <laughs> Let's check the court record. <laughs> lunch special. Trabion lunch special. Despite It costs $20 despite how unbelievably bad, bad it tastes. tastes. No wonder no more people aren't here. How does that guy manage to make good food taste so bad? <laughs> hey, Nick. You want to take a peek at the kitchen? The kitchen, huh? Not a bad idea. This seems oh, more oh, like... wait. <laughs> talk. Gotta talk about the kitchen. This seems more like what? This seems more like one of those cafes where, like, you go for the experience, not for the food, where it's like, the food doesn't really have anything good about it, but, like, you go for the atmosphere and for the people. Oh, I hate restaurants like that. Yeah, that seems more what this is going for. Hmm, now what was it that Maggie said again? In the kitchen, you'll get to see all of the chef's greatest secrets. In the kitchen? Mmm, that sounds tasty. Hey, wait up! Maya! What is it? I'm pretty busy right now. Weren't you going to show me around? <laughs> there goes my plan to find some cool clue and show it off in your face. I'd better conduct the search in the kitchen myself. Aw, but Maya could go with you. Boop, 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 I can't boop, understand boop. her outfit. It's like she has an apron, but it looks like the same color as her skin. So it just, yeah. it's like weird. Oh, I never saw You never that. saw that? <laughs> that does look weird. Holy cow. No, that, that is an apron. There's though. the kitchen. January 6th, Trabion Kitchen. And here it is, the famous Trabion Kitchen. It's the first time here too, actually. There's a weird atmosphere in here, that's for sure. Mr. Armstrong will be back soon, so we better search quickly. Chop, chop. Where is he? In the bathroom? That yeah, could, could yeah Maya while. finally cleaned them, so he's like, I can finally clean the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> he's been holding it all day. All day. They, they were disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? It looks like a treasure chest or something. Wow! Look at all these little bottles. Oh, they're aromatherapy oils. He's got so many, they're overflowing onto the floor. Let's see. One, two, three, 96, 98, 90,000. 90,000? <laughs> 100. They're all the same, too. Hey, wait a minute. What is it? There's one bottle that's different from all the others. Well, what do you know? It looks like a nail polish bottle. And it doesn't have a label, either. And it doesn't smell. So what's that liquid inside, then, I wonder? Hey, Nick, we should borrow this. 
I mean, look at how many bottles he's got. He won't miss one, will he? Small bottle added to the court record. That's gonna be the poison. Now this is one large mirror. I bet this is where he makes himself look pretty. There's a book on the dresser. Clarice Armstrong's bedtime literature. Not exactly Pulitzer Prize material, is it? Looks like a collection of poems he's written. Poems? Cool! Read one aloud! And say it in your best French accent, with intensity, okay? Okay, um, here's one. <clears throat> it's called Printemps. The two of them like actors from a film, <laughs> the coffee's still undrunk. Sweet nothings over too soon on that sad Sunday morning. The foolish cocktail so delicious. Take the last sip of your tea, and I know what I will do. I must lie to you. I must. I love how it goes to Pearl's fame here. <laughs> huh? That's it? Yep, that's a poem for you. I was expecting her to be like, that was trash! <laughs> what are these lace curtains for? I don't know, but they give the place a real homey feel, don't they? Hmm, lace curtains. You know, if I was a cooking pot, I'd be perfectly happy to sit on a shelf under those. How do you respond to something like that? Yeah, if I were a cooking pot! <laughs> okay, that's so- Okay, so many people- uh, So often people will like, text me and be like, Okay, why didn't you text me back? I'm like, because you texted me something so random, how could I possibly respond to it? <laughs> yeah, that can happen. Where it's like, uh, Link will occasionally like send me oh, stuff yeah. where it's like, uh, it's Look like, at this weird boss nasty meme. Or You're like, like uh, I found like a VHS at like the library, the Flintstones Professional Wrestling DVD. I'm like, how, what are you supposed to say to You're that? like, interesting. Or you're like, sounds cool or sounds And then he's lame. like, why did you do like a one word response? Well, you're very much the one word response person though, which can be great. It can be annoying sometimes. Mmm, that smells good. Something's bubbling away nicely in that pot. It must be the lobster in Avalon fricassee with balsamic vinaigrette. Fricassee. Fricassee. Or fricassee or fricassee. I don't know. Isn't that what I just ate for lunch? Maybe. What you ate is the only French dish I know the name of. <laughs> now I know I'm in a French restaurant, I've never heard of most of these seasonings. Hey Nick, this container has oyster sauce? What's that? Isn't that used in Chinese food? Oh. Ah! Look! Right there on the counter! I'm Makatama, what's it doing here? I can't believe you didn't see that till now. <laughs> what indeed? Magatama put into the pocket. Wait, is it gonna be like something super weird where it's like we got knocked out, but we were there when like the guy got poisoned, and then the, <laughs> the chef to stole our Magatama so he wouldn't we wouldn't figure out a secret, and then like wait, 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 super I'm elaborate sorry. thing. What? Like, are you talking a month ago? No, I'm saying like I wonder if. Maya was like, go to this weird cafe! It has French food! It has burgers! And then, like, we go there, and then, like, the guy's like, oh, what a beautiful time! And then, like, knocks wait, us wait. out. Wait, <laughs> wait. Like, knocks us out, takes our magatons. When are kitchen. you suggesting this happened? Before we, um... Are you saying, like, before the murder happened? Oh! Um, after the murder happened? After the trial happened? Before we the, went here today? Before the murder happened. That was a month ago, they would have remembered coming here, and we had the Magatama in our inventory at the beginning of the investigation. Oh, we did? Yeah. Then what happened? Did, like, a it disappeared. It? And ended up does in the, the kitchen. Does the guy practice alchemy and is, like, super interesting? Yes, Marty. The chef of the French <laughs> restaurant is a full-time <laughs> alchemist who is well, able to teleport our stuff around. Cheesecake? You don't exactly need a sharp knife for one of those, Nick. I think we skipped some stuff. <laughs> I That's okay. Know. It's a non sequitur. I like cheesecake. It's 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 all right. Yo, Maya, okay. you coming with us? No, she's she's working. Because apparently she has a job. Because apparently you can get jobs just in by two days. being a cute girl. Go being in a restaurant. Oh yeah, that no... can happen. <laughs> all right, Gumshoe. Hey, you're just in time. What is it, Detective Gumshoe? The lab got me back to got back to me about that newspaper you gave me. He must mean the sports paper with the memo scribbled on it. What's up? So, what did they say? Did the analysis turn up anything? They said the doodle was written by the victim, Glenn Elg. No doubt about it. I expected as much. The victim took the paper with him went to the restaurant on the day of the murder. That's our best interpretation of the facts at the moment. Sports paper refiled into the court record, so I'm trying to figure out... Yeah, 
<laughs> it might be a long, I think it'll be a long episode, but we might be able to finish off the investigation. That's fine. MC Bomber. I hope we or MC them. Bomber. <laughs> MC Bomber. <laughs> DJ Bomb is in the house, y'all. <laughs> I get the feeling I've heard that name somewhere before. Ah, oh, well. I guess it'll come back to me. You'll probably be like, oh man, remember that like weird terrorist dude, MC Bomber, that like <laughs> tried to threaten the world? Oh yeah, wow. he was in uh, cahoots of El Chapo, the drug <laughs> cartel. <El Chapo. laughs> <That> was... <laughs> I forgot about El Chapo. <laughs> El Chapo, it's like he dug a hole out in the shower in prison. Then they found like an underground tunnel with a motorcycle. It's like, and it's like he may have had outside help. It's like, no, <laughs> really? That was one. Of... <laughs> I felt. <laughs> Like, I was kind of, like, of course sad about it, because of course it's, like, El Chapo. But hearing that the first time, I was just like, this is so hilarious. <laughs> also, that's an interesting name, El Chapo. El Chapo. It's, it's catchy, Makes me though. think of Chapstick. <laughs> don't, forget <I> to <laughs> don't forget to report back to me with whatever you find in the restaurant, okay, pal? Since when did I start taking orders from Gumshoe? Although, I get the feeling there's something I need to show him. Yeah, we need to show him, uh, the bottle. You got one of those aroma bottles too, huh? Only this one doesn't smell. Huh? I don't get you. This was mixed in with all the other aromatherapy bottles, but it's not the same. It doesn't even look the same, wouldn't you agree? Looks like nail polish. Huh, cologne bottle it doesn't smell, huh? Smells like a skunk to me, pal. Mind letting me borrow that bottle for a while? Don't die! <laughs> I want to send it to the lab for analysis. Oh, okay, okay. The victim was poisoned, so the contents of this bottle are pretty important. Small bottle given to Detective Gumshoe. I had a hunch there was something funny about that chef. Gumshoe gets mugged. You suspect Jane Armstrong? Jean Armstrong? I've got that guy's number. I know what his secret is. Mm -hmm. That must be the same secret Gumshoe was talking about before. I guess I'd better fill you in on the details. About this Armstrong guy's secret, I mean. <laughs> and they're overusing this music. It's a shame. What do you make of this? Uh, that looks like crap. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, hang on. He stole this from me. Oh, he doesn't care about that. He doesn't care about the Magatama. Like, obviously we do, but... Armstrong's secret. So what's Mr. Armstrong's secret? You ever had lunch at the Trabion, pal? Yeah. Um, yes. So, how was it? Uh, to put it nicely, it was inedible. Hey, don't worry about being nice around me, pal. You and I both know the reason that place is so empty is because of the food. I mean, the place is clean, and he's got a girl like Maggie as a waitress, so... Yeah, I guess it's probably the food. The real scoop on the guy is he's up to his ears in debt. Really? How much does he owe? This is a copy of his loan contract. You know, He's you about can half get a it. million in the red. H half a million?! Are we talking dollars? Yeah. Hey, if it was Sterling, he'd really be in trouble. Sorry, that figure just took me by surprise. Yeah, this case is full of surprises. And I'd be willing to bet that chef's got something to do with most of them. That's my hunch. Jean's loan contract added to the court record. His loan contract, he his debt is half a million dollars. The owner of the loan is Tender Lender. Tender Lender? Catchy name. Who has a last name of Lender? No, it's like a loan agency. They lend oh. you Predatory loans. <laughs> I've played too much jackass. Oh, hey, Ma hey, Maya, what's up? Uh, oh, we're going to Vitamin Square with the. Oh no! <laughs> There's still pigeons. There. There's motorcycle. <laughs> There's a motorcycle here. Oh now. no! January sixth, Vitamin Square. Hmm. The old guy's not here anymore. Trap. I still have some unanswered questions for him. So what's her face back? Desiree Delight. Yeah, with her motorcycle. She's like Maybe. going through Vitamin Park or whatever. <laughs> a scooter, huh? Who'd leave it right in the middle of the park like this? The wheel guard and the light are busted. I guess it must have been in an accident. It's totally wrecked. Oh boy, uh, hang on. I gotta psych myself up for this. This is the last oh! character I have to voice. Oh, it's a pink bike though. What is gonna... Oh boy. Okay. It's okay. You'll be alright. I want to just see this. <laughs> hey, what was you think you're doing with my bike? No, I was just. <laughs> you've been messing with my new ride. Is that what you've been doing? 
new ride? Isn't that kind of an old model? Ah, who's gonna pay for this? What the heck? It, it wasn't me! I was just passing by! Hey! Then who's been covered my saddle with crap, huh? Ah, who's gonna pay? It's catch my drift! What the no! Heck? Wait a sec! I'm not a pigeon! I couldn't have done it! A wise guy, eh? Ugh. I had to beat you so hard, you must be spooching the express train! Uh oh. You's better watch your back. This ain't over. I'm gonna round up a group of lawyers and then you's gonna pay. Oh, great. Um, um. Uh, actually, I'm a lawyer myself. What'd you say? Uh, I'm Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. <laughs> <laughs> Phoenix Wright? You saying you, Phoenix Wright? Um, yeah, yeah, I am. So you a wise guy too, huh? Cause I'm Phoenix Wright. The one and only! What?! Out of my way! I got a cruise! What?! <laughs> He's gone. Why was that guy, like, a cross between, like, a gang member and Tarzan? Surely that guy wasn't my phony, was he? Why would- HE WASN'T ANYTHING LIKE ME! <laughs> Guess I better make a note of the scooter. What the <laughs> heck?! Scooter added to the court record, yeah. <laughs> oh boy. What the heck? <laughs> Why did nobody know? In the first place, this is, I don't even care about this case anymore. <laughs> People should have noticed That's okay. he's the wrong everything. That's like my biggest complaint of the case is just like the whole premise that he was able to fake, fake being you being is completely ludicrously insane. Stupid. Like, obviously the judge would have been able to recognize it. You probably had Godot prosecuting. No, Maddie... we had Winston Payne prosecuting. Oh yeah, we had Winston Payne. So he, he could have just been really dumb. Probably the, um... Maggie should have been able to notice. She, we knew her! <laughs> I know! It this doesn't so make dumb. sense. so dumb! Cat! Pathetic! Oh, hi. Oh, it's you. I feel frets from a little brat like that! And you look like a pigeon that's got seeds in its eyes! Have you been here the whole time, then? I was in that strawberry! I had some thinking to do. Or like you had some cowering to do! Well then, um, this has been a delight. <laughs> Are you a regular at that restaurant, sir? It's just that if you dislike it so much, why would you keep going there? Sir? There you are, you filthy pigeons! You want food? Haha! <laughs> Take that! Yeah, that's what I thought. I just wasn't expecting three. <laughs> I knew it. This old guy's got something to hide, but what could it be? Maybe... I don't know. Maybe he's the... Uh, no, that would be stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it, it would not make any sense at all. Okay. Because he's already been proven dead. Um, <laughs> anyway. Are you... He's Glenn Elg. <laughs> yeah, like... In, like, he, like, tried to fake his own death or something weird like that, and then wore all the... I don't know. Okay, yeah. Trial beyond regular. It's time you told me the truth. Why are you a regular at a restaurant that you dislike so much? Isn't it obvious? People only have one reason to go to restaurants. To eat! I, I agree with you there, sir. To eat? Is that the whole truth? What, what do you mean? I don't think you go to that restaurant for the food at all. You insolent brat! How dare you accuse me! What proof have you got? I can tell you that not you nor anyone else in the world would we'll go, go to that to place for, for the food. food. <laughs> yeah. After all, they serve some scooters. <laughs> well, take this! Die! You're a disgrace! An idiot! A clot! A fool! You're only worthy of this pigeon feed! Ow! Looks like that evidence wasn't it. <laughs> it wasn't that much of a pain, considering. Listen. <laughs> it's the lunch special. The proof is in the pudding. Or in this case, the lunch menu. That's the twin tea set! The food at Trabion is terrible and expensive. You're wrong. It's cheap. Huh? I'm rich. I inherited money when I was a boy. Yes, I'm stinking rich. I haven't done a jot of work since I was born, other than feeding the pigeons. What a load of crock! The taste's another story, but the price? It's nothing to me. So you're saying that you go there because you've got money to burn? Exactly! I have so much cash, I go for a swim in my money vault every day! Wow, like, um, <laughs> like somebody Scrooge. else, yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a lie. What?! You don't have money to burn, you're flat broke! Wait, how do we know that? We shouldn't know that. We didn't ask him about his wage. Oh, uh, um, okay, I didn't mean to do that, whoops. <laughs> Disrespectful, you! Huh? Take this! The finest seeds money can buy! Ha <laughs> ha! 
Ouch! These seeds really hurt when they land in your eyes. You should close your eyes. I'm rich, I tell you! Never worked in my life! As rich as they come! Uh, yeah, I don't believe you. You're lying to me. What? How dare you? Does a guy in a kimono, does he look like he would lie? Uh, how is he bro- Oh, the job listings thing. Yeah, it was thrown away by the old man. This is yours, right? My magazine! Why would a rich retiree be looking for a job? I- I- I was- Ah, so what? So I was looking for a job! I'm buying a lot at the moment! I need spending money! Oh? I don't go to that restaurant for food! I just go for the Javacino! Yeah, I think you mean cappuccino. Anyway, how much does a cappuccino cost there? Eight dollars! Those had better be some golden beans! <laughs> What's your problem? You think a poor man would be better off drinking dishwater, do you? Is that it? Honestly, that's uh, not no. even out of line nowadays <laughs> with, like, Starbucks and stuff, where they're like, here's your latte, Oh, you wanted the pumpkin $5. spice, like, unicorn supreme blend frappuccino Black. with eight shots of espresso? $17. I mean, it's not $17, but it's probably, like, $8. Comes with a free car. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be bad if it was $17. No, I wasn't thinking that. I was wondering if the coffee there is really that great. No, it's not. But... But anyway, yes, that place has free newspapers to read every day. Oh, well, that's not... Newspapers? Exactly! They don't want me hanging around at home, so I go there! Uh, I, I'm sorry, sir, but I can understand why they don't want you hanging around at home. <laughs> but there are no free papers to read at Travion. Yeah, that's obvious. Yeah, I mean, look at this magazine clipping. <laughs> this is there instead. Well, you like seeds, do you, boy? Sorry. If you like them so much, then how about them seeds? Now eat up, boy! You heard me! Ow! Ow! Well, ow! That was no good. Ow! <laughs> well, boy, how do you like them seeds, hmm? Anyway, yeah, that place has free newspapers. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Take a look at this. What is it? It's a newspaper I found behind the magazine rack at Trabion. Maybe he's MC Bomber. Maybe he's MC Bomber, he's like the, oh yeah, like, I rap in my spare time, but in the other times I- That would be amazing if But that otherwise, were true. he's like, throwing seeds at birds, and his raps are just like, mm, yeah, pigeons! I gotta three them pigeons! And like, it's like just- And he's doing this, like, undercover so people don't recognize him. Yeah! Maybe! That would be really cool! So, what of it? This was the only paper there, and it's dated more than one month ago. What? What? Do you see what I'm getting at here? That restaurant doesn't get newspapers. This is just one that a customer happened to leave behind. Ah! Ah! Oh, we still have one more cyclops? Tell me, why are you so determined to hide the truth? Ah! I'm not hiding anything! I'm going to have to put this guy out of his misery. Listen, the real reason why you go to so much to Trabion is... Uh... uh... <laughs> he gets to ride that guy's scooter. No! <laughs> I don't even know. Well... <laughs> you're wrong! You're wrong! Uh-oh. He's gone silly. You're so stupid! <laughs> he didn't even throw the anything at us. It's not the food, it's not the coffee, and it's not the newspapers. What else is there? Tell me, why are you so determined anyways, dude? Is he like... No! I wrong button again. I'm Wait, sorry. <laughs> is it like, oh, I go there for the girls because I'm a weirdo. <laughs> and he like wants to hit on them? Maybe he goes that... for the shit. That's what I was like, <laughs> is it that? Does this have a special dialogue? Oh, it doesn't. Oh, man. I was like, I don't know. <laughs> you want to try it? Sure. Ugh. Well, it's like interesting. What are you girl. asking me about that girl for? She was the waitress at Trabion. Ah! Therefore, the answer to the mystery of why an old man would drink expensive coffee at a terrible Ugh. restaurant is the waitress. Ah! But, but I don't recognize that face. And you're probably telling the truth here. Because you weren't looking at the girl's face, but at her outfit. Ugh. <laughs> That's the truth, isn't it? You became a regular at the restaurant because of the waitress's uniform. That uniform is all you can think about, isn't it? Ugh. Uh, uh, I can't take it. To you, that waitress was your- ENOUGH! PLEASE! NO MORE! STOP SAYING THAT WORD! STOP SAYING WAITRESS! STOP IT! STOP IT! STOP IT! Well then, that was interesting. Yeah, this this guy's a bit odd. This guy's a bit of a perv, perhaps. <laughs> um, sir? Yes, it's true! I was there for the young girl! Fine, so I'm a dirty, wicked, sinful old devil! 
No, no, I didn't mean it like that. I even got one of those stupid lousy cups of Java Chino every time for eight dollars! All because of the serving girl! Punish me! Lock me up! Oh. R really? That oh. I wonder. What? Well, literally, Maggie was like, dude, I don't even, like, know what happened. Like, I just served the guy the coffee and then, like, all of this stuff happened. Maybe this dude was like, I can't believe it. This girl, like, this girl's serving him coffee and not me! <laughs> and just, like, starts, like, rampaging. That's and like, <laughs> that's like Beast from Bell's Match Cool. Yes! <laughs> Uh, really, it's- that's not what I'm here for. You'll be the same! Another 20 years and you'll understand what it's like! Uh, you'll know how painful it is to be an old man like me! No, no. really. Listen, sir. STOP CALLING ME THAT! I have a name, you know, boy! So show some respect, hmm? I'm Victor Kudo! S sorry Mr. Kudo. You young ones think you know it all, don't you? Well, I'm not saying another word! I won't tell you anything more! Well... <sighs> this guy was in the restaurant at the time of the incident. Which means I have to hear his testimony one way or another. Hmm. I don't believe this. I even broke his psych lock and everything. I guess I'll have to try to get him when he's in a better mood. Oh wait, uh, there's the, more to this than I thought. The old people in this game are pretty, uh... Stubborn. Just realized there's a little bit more than I fuck remember. Hey, check it out. I rode a scooter. About this. Sorry, Nick. I'm a waitress now. I've got a pile of work waiting for little old me. No, you don't. You have nobody there. By the way, uh, watch out for the perverted old man. <laughs> About the- oh man, not again. Oh! It's that old man! Is he still feeding the pigeons? Yeah, he fed me as well. I got a bunch of those seeds in my eyes. Ouch! Ouch! Hey Maya, uh, would you mind coming with me for a while? Huh? Me? Why? No! No! Phoenix, no! <laughs> There's something I really want to ask that old man. Sure, okay. I'll just get changed. No, hey not. Uh, can't you go like that? I guess. This is not gonna end well for Maya. Oh no. Uh, um, sir? Huh! <laughs> you again! Hmm. Well, well. I see. Uh, Nick, his eyes are burning into me. It's okay, I think it's going pretty well. Ta! Huh? You're still just a little child! Run along and play on the slide, alright? But play on the slide? Ah! We were so close! Just a little more and he would have spilled. pigeon <laughs> How can we crack this guy? Uh, excuse me, please, sir. Quiet! Can't you see I'm feeding? I don't even know the... who this is. Pigeon. Oh, is that? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Maya. Mia. Well. If you don't mind, sir, I'd really love to talk with you. Yes. 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 Of course. Certainly. I I'm Victor. Victor Kudo. Even from beyond the grave. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, is the weird lady coming back? And for whatever reason, he'll be hit, like, turned on by her. But no. We, uh, oh, oh, the, oh. The weird lady from inside that was like, hey, and her, like, head was wrapped. Yeah. Oh, yeah, her. <laughs> Creepy girl. Creepy girl. About the incident. You mean the man who died after drinking the Java Chino? It's like he's a different person. I didn't call you Siri. <laughs> Siri turned on. It's like, I didn't understand what you meant by Victor Kudo. <laughs> it was quite a shock, even for me. He was a strange looking boy. The girl took the Java Chino over to him, you see. And was the customer alone? Definitely. He was the only person at the table. Then he took one sip from his Java Chino and... And? And he said something like, Wah! and then collapsed, dead. Oh, how terrifying. You're so good at listening, aren't you? I'll tell you Eddie Feed. Whatever you want to know. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he certainly seems to be telling the truth now. I can't believe Maya was like, well, I see what we need to do here. <laughs> and was like, alright, let me... And I, Okay, I mean, yeah, it's a bit creepy. He's like, leering at the young sure, girls. But sure. props to him for being like, no, nah, Maya's young. That's really, that's messed up. <laughs> yeah. No, so... here was the thing that I was just like... <laughs> Can you imagine if Maya was just like calling me and she's like, oh, like, oh, hey, like... Like, sis, what's up? And she's like, oh, I need to challenge you so this weird perverted guy can, like, <laughs> talk. talk. Uh, okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it doesn't- it looks like Mr. Kudo didn't see the other man, either. Did you like the food at Trabion? Well, of course! I'm really quite a sophisticated man. I was a young businessman once, you know! I set up a casino in London! Uh, good for you. Really, how interesting. Eating the food at that restaurant really takes me back to my days in France. Maybe he just sucked at cooking, too. <laughs> what a lovely story. London's in England, not France! Oh yes, France is wonderful. I'd love to show you around the city sometime. Uh, it's too much! I can't take it! I want France! <laughs> I can't believe Mia's laughing at the guy. <sighs> Mia's just like... I forgot about this do? part. <laughs> you visit Travion a lot, don't you? Of course! I, I mean, yes. I'd like to come and see you there. <laughs> really? Oh, you're so flattering. The owner would be delighted to welcome you, I'm sure. Be careful of that chef, my dear! The what, chef? is he- You mean Mr. Armstrong? What, what's up with him? Is he like- That right- that's right, the man's an ex-con. He- he's an ex-con? Uh... Well, Whatever did Mr. Armstrong do? Oh no! Those eyes! I can't take this. How does he know this? Mia's really got this guy eating does, out of her hand. Is this like a bar type thing where like the guy comes in and it's like, Oh hey chef, how are you doing? And then like they That's swap so good! Stories. I beat the guy up yesterday! <laughs> yeah, like is it like that? Or is I, it like- I think we're about to find out. out. He steals things from his customers. Um, from his customers? Like you. Gloves, handkerchiefs, little things mainly. Like poisonous bottles, perhaps? <laughs> He's a pilferer, so you be careful around him, my dear. Are you sure about this? Of course! He was arrested for it once. I was there when it happened, and I was having my Javachino. Um, why didn't the place, uh, close? <laughs> he really is a regular. <laughs> Let me write you a little haiku about it. <laughs> a haiku? A Japanese poem! It'll explain all you need to know about that chef. Okay. If it's actually written in Japanese, then... It's not. Oh. Victor's note added to the court record. If he takes anything again, you let me know. If it's not too expensive, I'll buy you a replacement. Poor guy. He couldn't do enough for Mia. Uh, where'd he go? Okay, Phoenix. That's about as much as I can do to help. Thanks, Mia. We got some really important information thanks to you. Honestly, I can't believe Maya called me for something like this. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's a bit weird. Maya's just like, hey, I need this. Oh, is the chef back? Like, January 6th. <laughs> we are hitting the wrong. That's not what I was trying to do. I was like trying to have him like sing around and like dance around. Da -da -da. Oh, is there like French opera? Oh, that's right. You haven't played Ghost Trick. No. Fantastic game if anyone hasn't played it. Oh, maybe, maybe we could do that on let's, let's play that. That'd be fun. That's a bit of a commitment. Is but it like long? There's is 17 it like Tales chapters. Of no. No, 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 no. Is it, but uh, it's, uh, uh, give, it, give me an estimate. Like 12 hours? Closer. I feel like closer to 30, maybe. Well, maybe we can do that. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Anyhow. I guess it's about time to wrap up today's investigation. And I guess I also changed my clothes somehow, <laughs> even though we just walked in here. Had enough of being a waitress? Yeah, plus no one came to the restaurant. Oh la la, Mademoiselle Maya! No, how can you leave me like this? I I'm sorry. That reminds me. He's buff for a guy who's a <laughs> chef <laughs> that, <laughs> um, is an ex-con. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Armstrong had a psych locker free, didn't he? I'm going to have to break those. Uh, that, that face creeped me out. Mr. Armstrong, I hope you won't mind, but I'd like to have another word with you. Volunteers, of course! <laughs> yeah, just, just present the Magatama. I didn't know if we had to re-talk to him. He's like, I can't believe you found the Magatama! <laughs> oh, Maggie's uh, motive. He's crying? What is happening? I do not like this horrible feeling! I have to know the truth. What happened that day? All over the lords, I will confess everything, just don't hurt me. Huh? Well, that, that was, was a new world record! It was a lottery ticket. A lottery ticket? Huh? Lamani died here at a lottery ticket for half a million dollars! Half a million?! We, oui, but after the incident, this ticket... It disappeared. The ticket disappeared? 
This was the motive that the, 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 the prosecution gave to Maggie. <laughs> they said that she poisoned the man to get the half a million dollar ticket. Well, I mean, that would kind of ish make sense. Why didn't you tell me about this sooner? May I lose? You've been trying to hide this information about the lottery ticket from me. And I want to know the reason why. Um, he obviously wanted it. <laughs> no, monsieur, you doubt me, but I've confessed to you everything I know. Mr. Armstrong, the half a million dollar lottery ticket, I think I know who took it. I think the winning ticket was stolen by this person. Uh, yeah, we know. But, I mean, why not try and I hit think it on? I stole it. <laughs> well, how about it? Le Ça va? <laughs> Excuse me? It means, how are you? Oh, um, I'm fine, thanks. Bien, I am happy to hear it. Doesn't sound like I'm doing so fine with this psych lock, though. Ugh. Why does he keep eating his rose? <laughs> it's like Waluigi in uh, Mario Party Mario, 7. Mario, Waluigi! Where? Oh wait, no, that's 8. That's 8. Where he has the rose. <laughs> he eats his tennis racket, not the rose. That's power tennis. <laughs> yeah. Poor Maggie, she was tempted by the evil nun. No! If it was yeah. really Maggie, then you'd have no reason to hide the facts from me. Yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, so, yeah, yeah, you know who it is. This chef himself. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. <laughs> Mr. Armstrong, I believe there's a very high probability that it was you. All of your French subscribers are gonna, um, <laughs> completely unsubscribe. <laughs> wow, that is one piercing scream, even for a man like him. Yeah, Thank goodness so, we didn't voice so it out. So piercing that it was not heard. <laughs> like a so dog whistle. <laughs> Pourquoi moi? Why do you have no evidence? I am not masked to mask. I am not the kind of person who steals uh. the property of others. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Armstrong, but I have evidence that you are masked to mask. <laughs> I present to you proof that you have stolen from others in the past. Oh yeah, we didn't read his haiku. I, haiku. Hope, I hope it's as good as uh, Cusco's from the show. Oh, uh, whoops. <laughs> we, we perhaps don't. Stuff would be nice. A terrain, maybe. Sorry? I was just thinking about my lunch menu. Train de canard. What do you think? <laughs> that sounds lovely. Uh, uh, au revoir. <laughs> Alors, au revoir, monsieur. I must go buy the ingredients. Didn't you learn Spanish? Yeah. I, I learned Japanese. Uh, I so. guess my evidence no, is a bit of a lame duck. Neither of us learned duck. French. <laughs> I am not mass to mask. Victor's note. Convicted before. A wicked man or woman. Repeat offender. That's a terrible... <laughs> Wow. This is worse than Sokka's haiku that didn't work. What is this? A poem? Oh, monsieur, you know me so well. I adore poems. Please, read it. And put some feeling into it. Convicted before a wicked man, a woman, repeat offender. I'm sorry to have to bring it up, Mr. Armstrong, but you have been arrested for stealing from your customers before, haven't you? No, oh, do you? Le you are a liar. You deny it? Do not make the false accusation, s'il vous plaît. So do you have any proof? I was like, wait, is oh. that fixed, right? <laughs> I want to see incontestable proof that I have stolen from one of my customers. Do we have um, it? I've got news for you, the haiku. <laughs> imbecile, imbecile, you are an imbecile. Wow, no. that's rude. <laughs> what are you singing? Just one of my favorite chansons. It is called Imbecile. It is French. Come, monsieur, sing together with me. Imbecile, 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 you are an imbecile. imbecile. <laughs> <laughs> Armstrong's definitely stolen from his customers before. I just, just need to find song. the right evidence to prove it. <laughs> do you have any proof? Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. Uh -huh -huh. Seems old habits die hard, Mr. Armstrong. What is that? It is my Magatama. And I found it in your kitchen. No! Wow, that scream just about broke some windows. <laughs> no. Thank you for not doing a scream like. Ah! No, I was not. We, oui, we, oui. uh, I have a weakness for the little trinkets and the figurines. My hand, it just slips out. I, I can't, can't stop it. He's a kleptomaniac. <gasps> You've stolen handkerchiefs, gloves, and other things from your customers, right? We, oui, it is the truth. I am just a timid little girl inside Monsieur, a timid little girl. Besides, this time, it was not the small trinket we, it was $500,000. Okay. Uh, good thing Pearl isn't here for this case, because I'm sure she'd be so weirded out. <laughs> no, she'd be like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Mais non, why would I steal it? I have no need for such money. Really now? Oh, monsieur, what is it? Isn't it true that you're in some pretty serious trouble? 
and that and you are in desperate, desperate need, need of a large amount of, of cash. cash. Yeah. You need cash now. <laughs> After cash all, you're charging mine. 20 bucks for this. Well, Mr. Armstrong? My monsieur, it is not I who is in trouble, it is you, no? Huh? Would petite question. W what? It means a little question. Together now with me. Un petit question. Un put it catch on. <laughs> Bravo, monsieur! Oh, you are a dream! Excellent! Ah, <laughs> uh, we're definitely not on the same page here. What a long book. Is that all? Besides this time, it was a $500,000 lottery ticket. <laughs> I think you're in desperate need of a huge amount of cash. Uh, uh. This restaurant is deep in the red, isn't it? Ah! Uh! You have a loan to the tune of half a million dollars. That lottery ticket would have wiped out your debts. Mm -hmm. Well, Mr. Armstrong, <laughs> what do you have to say for yourself now? Uh, no! I think a good, um, <laughs> weird scream is great. We got the rest of our points. Yeah. Aw, crying man. <laughs> Mr. Armstrong, you said that the victim had a winning lottery ticket uh. for half a million dollars. How did you know he had something like that in the first place? This, this man, he, he was listening to the radio with the ear piece. Um, and you could hear it? Hmm, Maggie said something about that too. The winning number was announced on the news, I think. All of a sudden, he exploded! Yes, half a million, he shouted. And the ticket? We oui, had all of his tickets spread out on the table. He bought that many? I, I was so desperately in need of money, so I put the poison in his coffee. No, 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 no! Oh, no, you naughty man! I simply upped myself to one of his tickets. What? The victim collapsed and Maggie passed out. I thought to myself, poor Corpots, he had so many of them. Yeah, but only one of them was the winning ticket, right? How could you do that, Mr. Armstrong? Maggie was arrested because of you! No, this is not true! I did not take it! It's the ticket for half a million, I mean! But you just told us you did! You said you took a ticket! Uh, no, no, my fee! It was not... That's enough. Huh? Ah! Mr. Cadeau! What the heck are you doing here? Ugh. I needed some coffee. <laughs> this is, without doubt, the worst coffee <laughs> I have ever tasted, Mr. Armstrong. He came in here for coffee? Does his craving for coffee know oh, no bounds? <laughs> Perhaps Mr. Armstrong stole one of the victim's tickets on the day in question. I am not airhead, no, I'm just a petite little girl who's everyone's laughing at. But, in that case, Maggie shouldn't be the only one under suspicion. He had the wrong ticket. What? Mr. Armstrong made off with the winning ticket's pretty neighbor. So, the ticket he took was worthless? Not quite. He did win something. A dollar. You see? I'm just a pretty face. Without my work, looks I have nothing. So, what happened to the winning ticket then? The one he meant to steal? Indeed, what did happen to it? Old man. Probably. I don't like spoiling myself by watching trailers, so we'll just wait and see how the movie I turns think, out tomorrow, I won't think we? The old man took it because he's like, I'm rich! I have millions! Blah, 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 and I'm fabulously like, wealthy! Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Voila, you two! Time to laugh at the pretty little airhead! Looks like I won't be needing this note anymore. Victor's note thrown into the trash. <laughs> Looks like we've got a new mystery now. Namely, where did the winning ticket go? I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, anyway... We can't let Maggie suffer any longer for this. And certainly not again. To be she, continued. She's one of those people that, like, trouble follows her everywhere. Which I know mm -hmm. she literally mentioned. But that's more a problem with your own... Like, that you have to solve on your own. Not just, like... Well, we still don't want her to get convicted yeah, for murder, but she not. probably did not do. Yeah. Um, Anyhow. Probably. <laughs> I mean, you never know. It could be another. That would be an amazing twist if it's like someone you defended previously turns out to be the killer. Yeah. That would be funny. I think it would be great if, like, in a future case, you were like Wendy Old Bag or Lot of Heart is like the killer. <laughs> Lot of Heart. She's like, remember when we tried to shoot a gun to shoot off my gun to shoot off the camera? That was just yeah, you. That was real. <laughs> Anyhow, tune in next time, everybody. We're going to court. It's us oh, versus boy. Godot. And With who, the worst coffees ever. Who drank. knows who will make it to the witness stand?
Anyhow, look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.